Coming up on this edition of NSFW Show, we are joined by Sarah Lane. We play problem solvers and solve problems all over the world. Then nothing happens. Literally, nothing at all happens. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love From people you trust This is Twit Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com This is NSFW episode 75 for May 10th, 2011 R.I.P. Carpetbagger R.I.P. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high-quality website or blog. For a free 14-day trial, go to Squarespace.com slash NSFW. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed to your PC, Mac, or TV instantaneously. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one business day. For your free 30-day trial, go to Netflix.com slash See this cute little vial here? It's crack, rock cocaine, the most addictive form. You think it's the glamour drug of the 80s? Well, that's the point of this fronted little reminder. It can kill you. And if you've got to die for something, this sure as hell ain't it. for the Webernets, the show that's nominally set for work. It's none other than NSFW. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, the one, the only, less shaggy than usual, the duck face dancing robot. It's got to be Justin Robert Young. What's going on, J.R. Weibel's the third, third, the third third. The third third. Well, <laughs> just as my father intended. Uh, listen, <laughs> Brian, this is a show that I am irrationally excited for because it is going to be very mundane. There will be no surprises in this next hour of programming, whether you are watching or listening. Really the only bright spot in this otherwise completely dank and empty landscape of nothingness is our dear friend who is back on the show, as beautiful as she is talented, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Lane. The photograph of Sarah Lane right here. What is going on, Sarah Lane? <laughs> hey, guys. How are you? Thanks for having me back on the show. Uh, yeah, by the way, this is how confident we are in this episode. Not only do we have nothing of import, we're only doing a sack race and a three-legger race, and we're going to do an egg toss later on. Mm -hmm. But we're also oh, going to do some funny skits where we make up uh, hilarious lines and, and sing them to popular music. But we're so confident that the show will be entertaining regardless that we didn't even want... Sarah Lane to use her full bandwidth. We were like, can you mix things up by having like some kind of bandwidth constriction issues to where it's like really to where we can always hear you, but sometimes we get like weird morph face. And Sarah's like, you know what? I can do that. Yeah. And I feel that uh, still photos capture the soul. And so I feel like um, I can I can put my best foot forward in this kind of artistic context for NSFW tonight. Can we just, 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 you know, also, hey, how about this? Listen, I got an idea and I'm just throwing it up against the wall. Let's see if it sticks. Why don't we just say that Sarah is also reporting live from a bottom bag you, Pakistan? You totally beat. That was exactly like when I was. <laughs> that was exactly the joke I was going to be making. Oh my God! You totally. <laughs> beat. Aha, point one. <laughs> the old Jerry McFarland. Well, I'll tell you guys right now. This is not much of a mansion at all. You know, it's more like a <laughs> hole, but it's just deep in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the band would knock down half that curse word that Tony did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not, am I not the <laughs> <laughs> so, so 
also, uh, she's actually, her job is to go through uh, Bin Laden's DVR and just find out whatever. He's like, he paused a long time in this episode of uh, Family Feud, and I'm not sure why. It's a very Apparently, odd. he's really into the killing. I never figured <laughs> him to be an AMC fan. Uh, hey, man, look, let's get things started, because this is a totally unremarkable episode of no, of no sp specific import. No, no Tuspit big import, neither. That's, uh, uh, I would like to point that out as well. Hey, folks, we're, we're not, we're, listen, you want to know, know how little we have to do on this show? Let's dust off an old chestnut and play a little game of problem solvers. Brian, what do you think? Problem it's only the best bit we ever came up with, thanks to one Miss Sarah Lane. If you haven't seen it before, people out there in the world on the Internet, they got problems. And when, who are you going to go with your problems? Your parents? Parents don't care. Oh. They want you to oh, please leave them alone so they can understand. watch the TV shows, right? You can't go to your family, your loved one. The internet, it's too complicated. The internet is like a brilliant brain in a vat. It might have all these great ideas, but it can't physically pick up a phone and call you to fix the problem, right, Justin? Not until Skynet comes online. That's right. Uh, which, by the way, no one talks about that, that benign element of Skynet before it decided to take over the world where it just called teenagers and solved their problems. Yeah, we, we like to think of problem solvers as... The internet's Skynets, but the good kind, <laughs> in parentheses, is what exactly. we're Exactly. You know, the kinder, gentler Skynet. We're here for you. All right. So in its simplest form, basically, the three of us are going to solve all the world's problems one at a time. And the way we started, we put the word out. If you follow the show, you can follow me at Schwood, at S-H-W-O-O-D, at Justin R. Young. And, of course, at uh, you're just Sarah Lane, right, on Twitter, right? Yeah, just Sarah Lane with an H L A N E. So every so often, we put out the word that we want to hear your problems and give us a phone number so that we can call and fix it. Now, first of all, I ought to say that Sarah hasn't read any of these. I haven't read any of these. Justin's mm -hmm. read like Justin doesn't know how to read these. And so no, the important no, functionally thing, illiterate. Exactly. So we're going we're gonna to divvy them up. It couldn't be simpler. We're going to listen to your problem. One of us will be our job to recap what's going on. Next person will give a bit of advice. Third person will put a little button on top. And then we're out collecting Grammys. Exactly. Here's the deal, folks. A lot of shows have a call-in problem-solving segment. We are the Internet's only call-out problem-solving segment. We are going to enter into people's lives forcibly, give them the advice they so desperately need, and then run out without letting them say a word. And this is only one step away from our ultimate goal of hitting the trifecta, of causing the problem then solving the problem, and then leaving, right? Yes. Only, hopefully, technology will allow in the next five years for us to screw up your life, fix your life, and then have Sarah Lay make uh, a high glass with her fingers. Dude, I'm a problem solver. I'm a superhero. I'm just trying to get into character, you guys. No, that's good. <laughs> that's good, because you're taking it serious, and that's how we Absolutely. take our problems very seriously. All right, Justin, why don't you read to us this first one right here? Absolutely, Bri. Listen, this one comes in from TSS Oloic, who writes, I have a good friend who I unfortunately don't talk to as much as I want to, whose birthday is coming up. I'm sure the episode will be up by then. I don't think that they are an NSFW fan. I need some help on something free that I can do to surprise her for her birthday. Emphasis on free. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Uh, he also adds, I, uh, she doesn't have my taste in music. Though uh, she, he already has tried to make a CD, uh, but that didn't work. So we need something beyond a mixtape, uh, but absolutely free for him to do to surprise a dear old friend. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm not going to ask him because that's not how we roll on problem solvers. I'm going to ask you guys and we'll just decide what we think the answer is. Uh, is, gotcha. he, is he interested in this? He says she. He's a he and she's a she. And I'm just going to say, you think there's a little something there that might, you know. You, you want to know what? I say we, we operate under the assumption that maybe. Let's roll with a maybe. Probably. Okay. okay. Probably. Defin almost definitely. Try and Let's do say he, that's all he thinks about. Is and in fact, he draws sketches of him and her and the dragon. And they're riding the dragon. And they're flying to a beautiful <laughs> land of buttermilk waterfalls. Awesome. All right. So, uh, so how do we want to divvy this one up then? Who's got what job? Uh, I will. I will do the recap. All right. So you'll recap it, and then uh, I'll tell you what. I'll take. Uh, I'll take dibs on the decision. Then I'll. I'll give them the answer. Sarah, can you put put a button on top, and then we're out. Uh, what, what's the button again? You just you make a clever catchphrase based on. Oh yeah, the clever catchphrase. Okay, sure. All right. There you go. All right. We're gonna give them a call right now. Hopefully, we'll see if this works. It says we're calling. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to reach. 
William Valentine. It's the salvation of your freaking love life. Will, you got a friend that you want to make a birthday a very special day, but your broke ass can't muster up two dimes to spend it on a proper gift. Uh, listen, we all know what this is really about, and the answer is back rub coupons. And on the back in the fine print, you put, by the way, back rub also involves a complimentary front rub that is non-declinable. <laughs> hey, and if none of that works out, remember, a glass of water and you got a golden shower. Problem solved. <laughs> See, we're making the uh, we're making things right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You want to know what? I like it. The thing I like about this show is, is not unlike the best comedies ever created. We like to start in a very subtle, artful <laughs> square one. And then we'll get ribald from there. Yeah, no, we, we started off, you, you got to start it off nice and squeaky clean. And that's what makes it, you know, off color. It's like that teacher, you know, you got to be the strict teacher that occasionally drops a one liner that cracks <laughs> everyone up. So we're the straight lace one, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, you know, so like, lace like jewelry. Uh, what's even so funny about this? I'm really trying to get <laughs> the guy a hand. Yeah, no, I mean, look, we're, we're 100% about, so, we don't call it problem jokers, we're problem no, solvers. We're no. That, All right, I like so, to say that that piece of advice, Sarah, as good as gold in my book. <laughs> as good right. as gold. Uh, all right. What do, we, what do we have next, Justin? Well, Bri, we have Chloe. Chloe says, I have the opportunity to transfer from Des Moines, Iowa to Austin, Texas for my job. I'm a proud Texan from birth and moved to Iowa 18 months ago for the, for the same job. I do like the cooler weather in Iowa over the Texas heat, though. Should I move? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll call dibs on uh, little witty rejoinder at the end. What about you guys? I'll do, I'll do the decision uh, if you can do I, the recap I, there, I can, Sarah. I can say he, he lives, he, he's going to move to Iowa, and now and right now he lives in Texas? Is no, no, right? he, no. He, he lives in Iowa, but he has the oh, opportunity oh. to transfer from Des Moines, Iowa to Austin. This is good because you've been to Austin. You can speak you know, from personal experience on this. He, 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 the problem is he says he's a proud Texan from birth, and moved to Iowa 18 months ago for the job, mm -hmm. but but he likes the cooler weather in Iowa, and uh, you know Texas is hot. Understood. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Let's give him a call. And then I totally didn't have this open <laughs> at all. Please state your name after the phone, oh. and Google Voice will try to reach. Chloe. Chloe, answer the goddamn phone. <laughs> Problem solvers. Hey, so Quo, I heard you live in Des Moines, Iowa. You from Texas, and now you might be able to go back, but you're not sure if you want to go back to that hot low star state because you like the cool air of Iowa. You know what the best part about Des Moines is, Clo? Leaving. Run from there like you set a children's hospital on fire. You're a traitor and you're dead to us. P.S. Love, Texas. Problem solved. <laughs> I think we're making positive changes. I think we, no, I we are slowly but surely affecting, uh, you know, society for the better. <laughs> you know, Clo has a lot to think about now, and I really think we, uh, <laughs> we help uh, inch him in the right direction. I did. <laughs> Yeah. I was actually, my original plan was to be like way more hateful and go on just a complete angry scree at the end. But, uh, but I had technical difficulties I was trying to solve. So all I could do was call him a traitor. I'm sorry. Well, I meant to say far worse things to you, Clo. <laughs> Maybe you should call in to problem solvers. Yeah. You know what? Call I was going to make really hateful comment to someone on my web show. <laughs> <laughs> I had technical problems. Do people from Texas hate it when other people leave? 
Like, you, do you even love Texas enough to stay kind of thing? You know, can I confess something? I actually am not a Texas native. I was born in Southern oh. California and then moved out. You're a traitor! Exactly. Yeah. I'm a traitor. I'm a traitor, and I go back and so I you're, laugh. You're a, you're a carpet bagger. Is what they like to say. Uh, yeah, I, I put carpets in bags. That's Which, what by I the do. way, how is that not a euphemism for ladies' man at this point? I've never heard that. Oh, carpet bagger? Yeah. Why don't we start <laughs> that? Old carpet bagger, you. No, that's great, and it should be, and we should act like it always was, like in a steampunk kind of way. You know, it's like <laughs> it's like uh, we should have two gentlemen. We should have me and you as steampunk. You know, like I've got a monocle, exactly. and then yeah. uh, and then like, and you've oh, got a you mustache. Know Constable Stevens. Yeah, and you're He's like quite the carpet bagger. Oh, no, you old carpet bagger. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Hey, who else do we got? Uh, there are lives that are broken that we still need to fix. Colin, Brian. Colin says, I'm in college. I currently live in a dorm with seven other people. We all get along great, except for our one roommate who's a complete jackass. One time he got drunk, walked into our living room, and peed on our couch. Not cool. We had nowhere to sit for a week. Another time he counterfeited my roommate's $400 parking pass. He accumulated several hundred dollars worth of parking tickets, got caught, and told his super Christian ex-Air Force mother that it was our idea. The list goes on and on, and I barely scratch the surface. We can't stand him. What should we do? Actually, I, I got to admit, that's it's pretty freaking metal. I mean, this guy, I, mean, I understand the guy's a oh. jerk. Terrible roommate, right? But, I mean, like, all those things sound to me like I can hear the roommate bragging about them 10 years from now. Telling us, oh, man, one time I got drunk, when I just peed on the couch. Whatever, I did what I want. <laughs> <All> <laughs> that's, that's slightly metal, but, but the $400 parking pass thing going back and, and yell, telling mommy... That uh, it was your friend's idea. That's a little gutless. Okay, well, that's, that's he, he will leave that part out of the story when he tells it down the road. <laughs> okay. That's in my imagination. That's It'll what end I'm with saying. him getting into a fight with his six other roommates and winning. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I guess we've all, uh, the one thing I haven't done is done the recap, right? Yes. Okay. I will be happy to do the witty rejoinder if you would like to offer the advice, sir. Uh, yeah, sound good? I could offer the advice, yeah. Yeah, all right, here we go. And we're calling right now. Wait for it. Hello? Oh, crap. Problem solver. <laughs> so I understand you're living with Ozzy Osbourne back in the 70s before he turned into a crappy reality TV show star. Oh, there. Sarah. Okay, so here's what you did. Ever heard of the Black Husband? Yeah, that's really the gay man. We'll take him there now and leave him. He'll never make it out. Hey, remember that one movie with Zach Morris? If you murder him, you get straight A's for the rest of the semester. Win-win! <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> All right, not not our best effort from a technical standpoint. I'm willing to accept uh, my part of oh, the blame. Oh, stop on. it, Brian! I'm sick of you denigrating uh, Sarah's advice of global, 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 global. Yeah. Oh, what's funny? Uh, you guys, you didn't hear my awesome advice. No, that's the funny part. Is all we heard is blah, 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 and you'll never get caught. <laughs> <laughs> what was the advice? Oh, my advice was. <laughs> Great. When it happens, a neat Disney show over the course of a week called Burning Man, but it's not happening. Take him there and never make it out. Oh, okay. If I can, uh, uh, it's, it could be an imperial oh, code. Oh, sorry, Brian. Do you speak global? <laughs> I do. I do. I, I'm fluent in over global, five yeah, forms of communication. <clears throat> uh, from what it sounded like, it says, tell them that it's Burning Man, but not when it's actually Burning Man. Drive oh, out to the middle yeah. of the desert and then just leave them. Is that is that what you were saying, Sarah? Yeah, that's exactly right. Dude, uh, you know what? That's great. Two out of three people suggest murder. Exactly. And, um, you know, if you're going to Burning Man, then there's no reason why you should not only be wearing a windsock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, this is how confident I am. Sarah's, Sarah's just bandwidth choked. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, let's say, you know what, Brian? Let's say I wanted to apologize for this whole yeah. thing. How should I? How should I go about that, Justin? Well, listen. You can just start a website. Like, I'm really sorry that I called your boyfriend gay, although he probably is. Dot Squarespace. Dot com. Well, okay, that sounds that sounds great, but it's like that sounds complicated because I don't know a lot about HTML or coding or ways to make websites. I've never made a website anywhere. 
I've got an account on GeoCities. Okay, okay. shut up. <laughs> if you want to make a website and you're worried about HTML and coding and cascading style sheets, put your head in a river filled with acid and die. Okay? Because you don't have to worry about that anymore. Put it right out of your head. You okay. can use squarespace.com and it's just that easy, Bri. You know, <laughs> you can use all these templates. They look gorgeous. Yes, they do. I'm sorry. I'm, I started coughing. I was laughing so hard. Uh, yeah, look, for everything I understand about Squarespace, <clears throat> and I look forward to trying out the product myself, maybe even using what? it on my website, schwood.com. Here's the thing, and this is actually a true story. If I could pull back the fourth wall here for a second. Uh, yeah. I actually, I'm on the road a lot. I use a bunch of different computers. I used to hand code my own websites. I've done it with, with, uh, with Notepad. I've done it with your Dreamweaver, even though that's old and busted. Uh, and the problem is, it's it's too much handling. It's like I'll be on the road and I'll be like, ah, I got to make an update, but all the files are all it's synchronized to my home PC, and I don't have the right files or whatever. Get this, dude. Here's how easy it is. Uh, they first of all, the websites look amazing. The templates look totally badass. No matter if you're here for you know the Scam School show or you want to book a show on the tour or whatever. Uh, all you do when you go to the website, hit escape, and then you just log in, and then you just move all the pieces of the website around like real time. Like I can make real time changes that you could just stuff's changing for random people. Any computer, any computer. Absolutely, there there is no limit to the gorgeous beauty that you can make using squarespace.com. It's a weapon that has never been conceived or executed upon the internet, and you can be firing beams of beauty and truth at your prospective audience so easy by just going to squarespace.com slash NSFW. Yes, and here's the other thing. They're not gonna make you like uh, pay them a bunch of money and then you find out that, oh, it's not done work, it's not for me, or it's yes, harder than I no. thought or whatever, because it's not harder than you thought, it's totally easy. Two week free trial and get this, they don't even care if you do it as a joke. You can make Justin Robert Young hates the NSFW show and secretly wants to make it a parking lot dot squarespace.com right now and it'll be up for two weeks and then finally until finally your trial runs out in fact i believe somebody uh oh wait where is it i was gonna there you go parking lot dot squarespace.com is already shown up right there parking lot formerly nsfw show <laughs> there it is parking lot dot squarespace.com is that easy and then the only witness was the the dancer sarah lane <laughs> missing people brian brushwood Memorial parking lot founder Justin Robert Young, rest in peace, NSFW show. That's how easy. <laughs> the templates look amazing. It couldn't be easier. Squarespace.com slash NSFW. Listen, and, and, and the offer, Brian, it's clear. Clear as a bell. Clear as reading your boyfriend's Facebook interests and understanding why he hasn't touched you <laughs> since you started dating. <laughs> it, 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 it's that easy. Uh, you know, no, no, uh, no credit card, right? No, 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 no credit card. No credit card. <laughs> There's no credit card required. <laughs> hey, Brian cannot be clear. No credit card. In case, in case you thought there was a credit card, there is no. Uh, uh, dude, well, uh, Brian, real quick, we do have the, uh, 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 the NSFW Summer Movie oh, Fantasy League Minute. Oh, shoot. Is it already time for that? Let's go. Well, then that means I've got to go ahead and get this ready because it is time for... All right, now this came in. This is this is not this is a total outside source. As you know, we already know that Kuhan does the daily NSFW show updates. You can find him on 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 YouTube. He does a weekly show as well. All the folks in the chat realm and iPod Park works on it. It's awesome, awesome stuff. But there's like underground reporting from mainstream media. Is that what I'm getting? Absolutely. Uh, apparently, this just showed up in my inbox. Uh, let's just go ahead and give it a play without listening. All to right. You. This is uh, this is for the NSFW Fantasy League Minute, and it's suitable uh, radio stations. Press record now. Oh. And then that's me playing. The, <laughs> that's me playing the wrong button. This is it right here. With your NSFW Summer Movie Fantasy League update in a minute. This is Chip Denneman. Thunder Road. And lightning strikes for Thor's. It brought in $65.7 million to win the weekend for Justin Robert Young. Although the hammer and shoulder pad centric actioneer performed to studio expectations, it sure wasn't what Justin was expecting when he spent $23 on it. You better believe by the grace of Odin's taint, he's gonna pray that it has a strong week to week. Combine that with the paltry returns from Disney's prom at $7.6 million, and he's facing a $78 million total, a distant second to Brian Brushwood. 
Speaking of Brian Brushwood, the bright spot on his resume, Fast Five, went from to dropping 62% in his second week, although at $142 million as a total haul, it is still the best bargain so far in the draft. Another good news for Brian, source code crossed the $50 million mark. This adds nicely to his $284 million leading total, as well as his boner. It's ladies first, as Sarah Lane joins the fray with two films, Priest and Bridesmaids. For this week's Woo! SMW Summer Fantasy League Minute, I'm Jim Bimber. <laughs> it's really weird because, I mean, it's, it sounds like I've heard that voice before. Like, I mean, it sounds like a very familiar voice. And then I automatically played the next track that was in the queue because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I like to thank Chip Bimber, whatever his last name is. Uh, he did a great job. But, uh, Brian, listen, we have... Uh, we have we have stuff to move on to. Yes, uh, uh, first and okay. foremost, actually, I do need to say right now, it's Blender MF is the one who actually does the editing for the uh, the NSFW draft series, both the daily and weekly ones. So don't uh, sorry, iPod puff parf puff 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 stay stay parf marshmallow. Uh, what what do we have to do? Uh, Brian, you, you might have noticed that uh, one of the reoccurring characters uh, on this very show has not been uh, around as much. It's because. He's moving on up, right? Well, okay, so this is, I didn't know, uh, okay. You and I, I thought we were just talking about this earlier. But no, first of all, for those of you who don't know, the guy who called earlier, it's uh, uh, John, or we called John Tilton, who is going to be joining me on the road. He's going to be my assistant. You'll see him here on the show helping out with a bunch of stuff. Uh, but as many of you guys know, Chad Johnson. Chad, <laughs> Chad, 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 he died. Unfortunately. I like, and, and we don't like to talk about it, but he unfortunately fell into a canal. And died. You're talking about moment Owen. of silence. You're talking about OM, OMG Chad. Yeah, he died, right? Uh, no, he I did. He just printed <laughs> me on Facebook. Oh, oh, Chad Johnson. <laughs> yeah, I was very oh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. He's not dead. He's just going to work at <laughs> Twit, right? Yes. Yes. Why would you say he died? <laughs> I listen. You know, you get wires crossed sometimes. No, look, I understand the part about you saying or getting mixed up and saying he's dying, but then I don't understand why you sent me an email with this prepared package. What the hell is this? crack up on a daily crime. Did you even put R.I.P. on there? Why would you put, why would you say he's dead? I, I'm sorry. Listen, and, and now that we've played that memorial, sorry, apparently he's not dead. He's just going to twin. Uh, let's move on. We have a game we like to call wait, hold, Beaner Toss. Hold on. Where you, you have a couple beaners and you toss them back. Hold, hold, hold on, wait, what? 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 What about, what? 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 That's right. <laughs> I killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. It's absolutely amazing. Right here in person, it's Chad Johnson. Hey, Drake everyone. To the American flag. Here we go. Uh, see, you said he was dead. What were you saying? I, listen, I, I apologize. Chad, I, I thought you were dead and that you had fallen into a canal after pirouetting past a <laughs> snapping crocodile. And, and that's... That's my bad. All right. It happens all the time. I mean, seriously. <laughs> if I had a dime for every time that someone thought that I died. 
Ah, uh, then you would I'd have a lot of dimes. <laughs> You'd have at least three dimes. At least three. As of now. Yeah. As of now. <laughs> uh, One dime in the last 15 minutes. So. Exactly. So tell, uh, okay, first of all, bring everyone up to speed. First of all, you, you got started just over a year ago here at NSFW, right? Yeah, man. And you yeah. didn't, okay, don't, you just I throw mean, the flag on the ground. You yeah, definitely. Right. No, uh, what I was doing was I was adjusting it so that it would be my burkas, you see. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden you move to San Francisco and it's all about the political statements. You I, know, you see how, you see how this works. You know, when you got a platform, you got to use it. <laughs> so uh, you started a year ago, but but yeah. what's funny is, what would you say is the biggest, and I'm trying to fix the cameras here so that I can actually join you. Apologize here no for problem. a second. Um, but, uh, need you, Brian. We're, all, we're all just excited by the fact that Chad's not dead. <laughs> yeah, and we're all thrilled. It's, it's big news. So, okay, so back to the beginning. What, what was the, the biggest, um, what was the biggest surprise you got like uh, out of what you didn't think you could do or didn't think you would find yourself doing when you started just over a year ago to now moving off to the big leagues over at the Twin Empire? I didn't think that um, I could go buy a thousand condoms in one day. Did, I did that once. Did you? Yeah. I had to go to Walmart and buy a thousand condoms for was it, the... Was it, uh, a it was, was it a okay, thousand? It was, it, was, it was hundreds. It was hundreds. It was yeah. hundreds. <laughs> but... But yeah, that and now too... and now you're taking those condoms to uh, to California. That's right, to whole new he's levels. Got, he's carpet bagging. He's got them all in the back. He's got his <laughs> not, unlike, not unlike Johnny Appleseed. He's going to leave <laughs> the trail of condoms behind. You know what the OMG stands for, but the C of Chad stands for carpet bagging. <laughs> it's all one big OMG carpet bagging. Uh, Hasbro activist dies. <laughs> Now we're back to the dead thing. We we cleared that myth up, right? It's not that's dead. that's it's the dead. headline that I read up there. Uh, well, well, Chad, uh, to tell us a little bit about your new your new gig. You are actually uh, it's appropriate that right now people watching in video can see the quad laser setup where it's uh, me and Brian on one side and you and Sarah Lane on the other side, and you are going to be working with Sarah uh, with at Twit right at the at the cottage. I will be, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Woo. starting on June first at uh, hopefully the new cottage, the Twit Brick House will be. Oh, uh, I doubt it. Yeah, Chad. I really Dude, that place it. is built like a Twit Brick House. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we, we actually have an office pool going on right now to see uh, who can guess close to date when we actually move in there. Uh, June first is um, that is uh, you know it's a lofty but goal. Uh, we're yeah. certainly going for that, though. But, uh, you know, I started June 1st at Twit full-time, Chad, uh, last year. So Holy cow. You'll right be starting ago. on my anniversary of being a full-time employee. Awesome. Yeah. And now awesome. You, guys, you guys can share that, that, exactly. that day. And maybe Chad can even divvy up that box of condoms. Who knows? Uh, look, all I'm going to say is they don't, call him, share. they don't call him Chad Johnson for nothing. <laughs> all right? <laughs> No, because that's bagger. his family's name, right? That's I know. That's I'm saying. There's a legitimate reason for why they call him Chad Johnson, <laughs> is what it is. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, uh, so what's your plan? You're driving out. You're going to take what five or six days? Have a crazy road trip, right? No, of course not. That, that was one thing I learned from you. <laughs> it's only it's only two thousand miles. Yeah, so. it's only two days of two thousand miles. Oh my god, it's a fourteen hour trip each day. Come on, that's no big deal. Oh, is that really all it is? That's not too bad. Yeah, well, it's twenty eight eight mi twenty eight hours uh uh full full you know for the full thing so 14 hours a day no big deal right yes boss yes no i mean <laughs> we've I, done that before yeah oh no, no i mean i've done it it, it wasn't fun no but, uh, but no. yeah yeah i've done it but no. you got your place all picked out and everything and do i have a duplex about three blocks from the twit brick house so everybody all of chat realms welcome to stay with you and come visit leo sure, sure. Maybe yeah you're, you're obligated yeah. live yeah. on the air you know, it's just <laughs> like, yeah uh what about um uh, do you have a title? You got a fancy title? You got cards? I do have a fancy title. I don't have cards yet. We're, we're, uh, I'll get cards probably before the first um, uh, uh, conference, but uh, associate producer. Right on. I'm a producer. Well, hello. Very good. <laughs> That's the sound I make when I'm a producer. So, uh, yeah, and this is also a kind of weird thing, too. And not that, uh, like, you, you had to fight uphill with your parents for taking time off. Uh, originally, it was an internship with me. Yeah. But then, but then you, but then you were like, uh, how did you sell your parents on continuing to do it, and how do they feel now about where you are and, and the success you've had? Um, they they're very supportive. Uh, uh, part part of the, um, I mean, not gonna lie, I'm getting a salary, which is pretty awesome, and so uh, that low calorie too. 
low calorie salaries. Oh, you said salary, <laughs> not salary. Did I say salary? No, go ahead. Um, uh, I, I like how you're like bragging, like, not gonna lie, they're gonna pay me some money. <laughs> not gonna lie. Listen, listen, it's not just gonna be in McDonald's uh, apple pies, neither. You know, I'm it's taking just just some bread. Free Brian son. Brushwood shows. That's right. That exactly. And by the paid. way, you can have any of those shows at any time. I mean, they'll have to be here in uh, in Austin, specifically in my backyard. But as right. many of those performances as you need, I'm there right. for you, bud. So, so that convinced them. Um, but, but, um, uh, I, I you know, it really actually wasn't that hard because because once they saw what I did with you, um, I, I mean, the initial. You know, it, telling them, hey, I'm going to travel around the country with this guy that I think will get me a career later on. Um, that was a hard sell. But um, uh, after they saw what I did with you, because you're, you know, you're so pro. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was ashamed of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that I didn't belong here at all. Exactly. After they reviewed the video of what you did to me, Brian. <laughs> they got me meat so drunk. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So it was. It was actually pretty easy sell. Uh, awesome. Well, and, oh, go ahead. I, I, I just want to say, uh, and, and, and in all seriousness, uh, Chad has been an integral part of some of our best episodes in NSFW. Uh, and and personally, uh, it was you know since you came on to work with Brian, it was uh, you know awesome uh, getting to know you then. And I know you're going to do a great job at Twit. A lot of people, and I'm sure the chat realm will agree, that are fans of this program or Twit programming in general, of which there is a large pool. Uh, look to you know and, and and fantasize about maybe working for you know this this network and it is obviously exploding right now. Uh, so I, I just want to let you know, and this is totally serious. Uh, I'm really proud of you, as I know a lot of chat room is. Uh, yeah, so no, there's uh, the chat room is not shy about uh, between saying R.I.P. Chad, they're saying we love Chad. So <laughs> when you, you so see much. when you see the chat room R.I.P. Chad, that means they're saying that's their little secret diamond club symbol for I love you. I love you guys too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations again, uh, dude. No, it's freaking amazing. Uh, let me see if we if we actually have we should have our guest. I don't know if we can kick it over live in studio. Well, well uh, real quick, we had to talk about Netflix, Brian. Oh my goodness, we of course we do. Yes. See, you know what? You wanted to go and just move along. I like to sort of pace things out. The way that I like to consume my movies completely on demand with Netflix instant streaming. I, I, I dominate. Last night I was watching uh, Alfie, the 2004 remake with Jude Law, which is terrible. Yeah. But do you want to know what? You... Streaming live. I could stop it halfway through and throw my Apple TV remote against the wall so hard it broke because it was a disgusting disgusting horrible movie that I didn't care about. It's not like I went to Blockbuster and I rented it. It's it, not like I rented it on demand. It's well, there for me. I can sample. It's That's like, what I love about Netflix. Imagine when you go down to Mexico and it's on your 18th birthday, so it's your legal, right? And you get a wristband and it's like, there's all this booze because it's all you could drink because it's Mexico. And you're like, I don't think I'd ever want to drink melon schnapps, but it's free. So I'm going <laughs> to try some melon schnapps. You're like, that is terrible. I am so glad that I didn't have to pay anything for that because I got this wristband. And you just run around. That's what Netflix is like. It's like one of those <laughs> rickety boats down in Mexico that you go to when you turn 18 and you can have all that you want of anything you want. Let me tell you, they've got thousands of titles on Blu-ray and on DVD. You get them in one business day. All the latest releases you get. Um, and the stuff they have on the instant streaming keeps getting bigger and better. And in fact, uh, what's great is you're going to be able to uh, go back and get caught up on series. You know what's on there right now? That I'm going to start. What? What's on there right now? There, Sons of there, Anarchy. Bro. My buddy uh, C.J. Yeah. Johnson won't shut up about Sons of Anarchy. I'm going to tell you, man. I'm not going to spend money and buy DVDs. I don't know if they're any good. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get on those bit torrents. You know, not because I'm afraid of getting caught, but because it's a pain in the butt. You I don't are understand. not. Because I just want to let you, hey, Uncle Sam, Brian's not afraid. Come after me, pigs. Well, no, I, I, am, I am afraid, but but that's not why. The reason is, is it's so convenient. You and so, Bonnie and Clyde style. And so, up against the ridge, firing back at you, you scumbags. It's so easy, and it's so simple, and the picture looks, it's HD quality right now. And I tell you, like, my kids now, they, they're able to use the Xbox, because that's the other thing you do on they're your Xbox. They're not afraid either. You're oh, <laughs> kick in the door. Josie and Penny, dare you, <laughs> you spineless weasels. <laughs> they, they're able to use the Xbox or the Wii or the PS3 in order to download their stuff. In fact, Penny just watched uh, Curious George 2 just showed up on the instant streaming as well. Do us all a favor. Terrible. Can we all agree? <laughs>
<laughs> you're going to go to netflix.com slash twitch, and then that's where you're going to sign up. That's how you give credit to uh, the Twit Network so that they know you guys are engaged. You're giving your It's free. You get 30 days free. It exactly. doesn't cost you a dang thing. There we go. And, and, and if you sign up, which, by the way, if you are not signed up to Netflix right now, and you have anywhere near the money, and it is cheap. It's like for the what, what is it? Eight bucks for the for the streaming only uh, subscription. Uh, you know what? I I think that's the plan I'm on. I don't know what the current plans are. I know I believe the plan is. Oh yeah, that's right. Free for 30 days at netflixcom yes, slash Well, I'm just saying, if you are not signed up, shame on you. You should be brought out to the middle of your town and had rotten fruit thrown at your head until you get a concussion. That should happen. To you. Problem solved. So did uh, you hear that? Unless you sign up right now at Netflix.com slash Twitch, Justin Robert Young will personally... I would, I would spit on you. Call your if sister. It, if exactly. <laughs> Justin Robert Young is about to call your sister if you don't go to Netflix.com slash Twitch. <laughs> there we go. And pony up a little coin so they can keep uh, old, old Chad stocked in condoms up there in Petaluma. <laughs> He's always there. busy. He's carpet bagging all the way up to Northern California. He's, He's got a lot to do. I'll tell you what, you better hope that he doesn't run into your new assistant sister. He, <laughs> just, he might just, just settle that problem. He might solve that problem himself, carpetbagger style. That's okay. All right. Uh, we've got to wrap things up here. Let's, uh, uh, we, we got a special guest? Yes, absolutely. Listen, everybody, uh, this is a pet project of mine that uh, we, me and Brian dreamt up a few weeks ago, and I'm very, 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 very proud of. It is the Summer Music Series. Uh, there's a ton of people who are doing awesome music that is primarily based on the internet, uh, and and what we wanted to do is give them a platform, a live platform to perform on this show. So throughout the summer, we're gonna have a series of music guests, and I could think of nobody better than the person that we got to come on uh, to, to kick things off. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been a guest on this show. He's a super talented musician. Uh, without further ado, performing What Makes You Sad, it is Andrew Bancroft, AKA Jelly Donut, please sir. Take it away. Thank you. <laughs> times when it seems like the whole solar system wants to just fart in your mouth. It's like this huge weight is weighing down on you. It's on your and you pull and pull and it stretches your which seems pretty cool at first, but then your just all limp and long like fruit by the foot. You can't have sex with a dad. Nah. I guess we all got stuff that makes us sad, so I don't really want to talk about it. But I will. You know what makes me sad when I make a perfect sandwich? Ham and Swiss, some mayonnaise on bran, some pickles and chips. And then my hand slips, and I watch as it blips, and it falls, and it hits the planet. I'll be like, crap, poop, why does this always happen to me? I can't stand it. I just don't have enough ingredients to make another. Oh, brother, I guess I was born to just suffer. What makes you sad when I'm sitting all alone by the phone? Wishing the phone would turn into gold, but it don't. What makes you sad? I see a homeless guy's cup and put a dollar into it. But the hot girl I'm with doesn't see me do it. What makes you sad? I think my penis finished with the pee, but I zip zip and it drip drips on my knee. What makes you sad? For some reason, statues. Here we go again. I lost my favorite pen. It's like Satan's taking shots at me every chance he can. Plus Uncle Sam added another two cents to the price of stamps. I went swimming after eating, man, and I don't like these cramps. Plus I didn't get a word that's original from my gramps. I went to Ikea to get a pillow but left with lamps. The electrodes are broken on my favorite nipple clamps. It's like my life's a wheelchair and there ain't no ramp. What makes you sad when E.T. says E.T. phone home, but he ends up in the ditch, disgusting and alone? What makes you sad? I'm instantly convinced that my life is in the sh**. Mom, stop following me on Twitter. What makes you sad? I find instead of a girl in my bed, a man's in it, and I've been getting ten minutes. What makes you sad? Farmer's markets. Yo. No matter how done you get, lift your head up. Cause the music just goes on and on. 
like this song. I'm gonna keep playing it until now because that's the end of it. It's done. Woo! So. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong Ladies with this? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> MC Jelly D, Andrew Bancroft. A lot of you guys know him from uh, the Dig Reel at Revision Three. And uh, so, where can people follow you now? People don't realize how many songs you have. Is you, they're all on your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, yeah, most of them are there. Well, I have hundreds, but I'm just very slow about getting videos together. So there will be more coming, but I am, uh, what am I on YouTube? I think MC Jelly D or Jelly D. Uh, yeah, I think so. I believe that's it, yeah. One of and those. of course, uh, and of course, uh, I believe MC Jelly D on Twitter as well. But uh, uh, thank yeah, you Jelly so D much. Yeah, Jelly D on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, let's do all the plugs. Sarah Lane, where can people follow you? Where can they see you? Well, of course, I'm on Twit TV, um, so I'm kind of I, I'm I'm kind of everybody's colleague in a weird way. And Andrew and I have worked together in the past at Revision Three, and oh, uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Sarah Lane. And of course, I uh, co-host Tech News Today with Tom Merritt and Aya Zaktar and Jason Howell um, Monday through Friday. And I co-host iPad Today on Thursdays, and a new show called The Social Hour with Amber MacArthur on Monday morning. Holy cow! You do everything. You're insane. Yeah, I know. Justin? Kind of, kind yeah, no, absolutely deal. do. Uh, and, and let me just say, and I always, I always say when, when, when Sarah's on, if you are not listening, if there's one show that you should listen to every single day, it is Tech News Today. It is, for, for my Ooh. money, uh, you know, the best daily show that I could possibly listen to in my ear holes. And Sarah, you and, you and Tom and I has do a great job, and, as well as Jason. Uh, and the social network, or social hour, rather, is, is fantastic as well. Thank you so much. Uh, let me say, uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Also, I'm doing a new podcast that right now is only going to be a live stream until I get the, uh, the, the stream together called The Online Ethicist with Ashley Paramore. So follow me on Justin TV. Uh, add me there. Add me, uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. I already said that. And that is about it. All right. And of course, I'm at Schwood. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. If you have any suggestions or you want to give feedback, you know, you can hit us up at NSFWshow at gmail.com. And to wrap things up, let's kick it back. To Jelly D, take it away, Jelly D. Give us a little more rocket sauce. Okay, this is uh, this song was invented on this show, so thanks for having me. Uh, all rise for the Bone Earth Planetary Anthem. Yeah. You guys, I was like, man, I have to, I have to sit down. So, <laughs> sing along if you know the lyrics here. People at home. Eight equals 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 D. Earth's cool, but bone Earth's better yet. Superpowers, eating lasers, shield us from space, hit their spacers. Lord, horse boy, we sing your praises. Eight equals 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 D. Eight equals 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 D. Three mighty bone Earth kings are we. Oh, eight equals 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 D. May all bone Earthlings everywhere be. Get laid regularly in all positions. <laughs> Nine yeah. reverse world show. Even the elderly. That's it. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> and it actually healed Sarah's internet. Oh my God, he did. You made Sarah. You made Sarah's internet work. Sweet. That's awesome. We, we got her for those sweet it. dance moves. <laughs> oh, so good. Miss you guys. Miss you guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, hold on. Let me get us all all on the screen. Yeah, you totally you totally fixed Sarah's internet. That's amazement. Uh, That's wow. the most technologically advanced thing I've ever achieved. And uh, I don't know how I did it. So, uh, uh, man, so uh, where, where, what's your primary focus these days? What are you, what are you most into that of all your projects? Because I don't, I mean, I don't know how much you want to talk. You, you do a million different things, and like you have created material that everyone in the chat room has seen and doesn't even know it. Like, what are you most proud of? Yeah, oh, most proud of. I don't. I'm one of those like, as soon as I do something, I've worked on it too long and I hate it, and so I'm like, mm, just get it up on the internet or throw it away, that kind of thing. So um, I, I I'm the guy I'm who focusing... almost does them once and talks about it the rest of his life. That's all yeah, I do. I'm kind of, I'm focusing on music and mostly kind of uh, 
hip hop stuff, uh, comedy hip hop. I have a live hip hop group called The Freeze in San Francisco. Uh, if you guys ever want to check that out, if you're in the Bay Area. But otherwise, working on kind of a comedy folk and hip hop stuff, uh, and also some show ideas too, which I'll have to pick your guys' brain out, uh, brain please, about. Please uh, do. I'm so sad that magically your internet works perfectly <laughs> now, Sarah. This sucks, dude. And even my cat Sam is now in my shot and everything. He's like, I want to be on the show. I heard everything really is show. perfectly framed. It's like, this looks, I, I could not set this up any better. Well, here, here's I don't the thing, know Sarah. what happened, but you know, this happened the last time that I was on the show when we did our summer movie draft and it like yeah. progressively got better. And by the end of the show was fine. So I don't know what's going on in, in my building.